Okay, this is day two, and we're going to do midpoint, and now we're working in two dimensions instead of just on a number line. This is our formula, and the thing about the formula is you really don't even have to be super careful. This is just the x's added together and divided by two. This is just the y's added together and divided by two. Since we're adding, it doesn't even matter the order. You just have to make sure you're careful with negatives. So let's just look at what this looks like. So here, we're going to take the x's and divide by two. So on our graph, what we're doing is we're taking this x, and this x, and we're finding the middle between here and here for where our point's going to go. So that looks like this, negative 4 plus 5 over 2, that's this part. And then I just have to use my order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So I need to add the top part before I divide, because this big line here is like parentheses for the top part. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1, so this gives us 1 half. So it's right here at 1 half in the middle. I can already kind of tell on the graph where my y should end up, because it should end up right there in the middle. So let's do the y part. That's this one and this one. I just add them up. Add the top part, 3 plus negative 1 is 2 over 2. That's 1. So that is right here on the y part is at 1. So here's my point, and your point will be an actual point on the graph there at negative one-half one. And if I check on my graph, that does in fact look like the right point right there in the middle. Now we're going to do the same thing on the next one. X and X, this time it's a letter, so we're going to put that in. And I can't simplify that any further, so I'm going to leave it like that. And on the next one, I'm going to do the Y part. And we're just going to leave it as an expression like that. There's nothing else I can simplify. I just leave it like that. We can also have it where we don't have the graph. So we still use the same formula. And we have the formula still at the top of the page there. So it's the X's. I add them together over 2. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the Y parts. Add them together over 2. On the x's, add the top part, that's 5 plus negative 4 is 1 over 2. Can I simplify that again? Nope, that's as simplified as I can go. Now do the y's, add the top part. Can I simplify that any further? Nope, that's as far as I can go. So just write it out as a point, that's it. Next one, now they put some decimals in, so we're probably going to grab our calculators. But we just do it the same way. Here's the x's negative 3.1 plus negative 4.92 over 2. Here's the y's, negative 2.8 plus negative 3.3 .3 over 2. I'm going to grab my calculator. I still do the top part first. And I get this on top. And I'm going to do the Y part. Then I can divide this. It's already a decimal, so I should go ahead and divide it. That's the X part. I'm going to do the same thing on the Y part. And don't forget to write it as a point x and y. And that's it. Okay, so far on the other page they ask us to find the midpoint if I knew both ends. So they gave me, here's my line, find the middle if I know the ends. But on this, these problems, sometimes they give me one end here and they give me the middle, and they want me to find the other end. So I'm going to label this like this to make this slightly easier. We've got one end. I know the middle, and I need to find this mystery end over here that they didn't give us. This was the formula we had at the top of the previous page. But if we just take the midpoint, which is actually a point, and think about that as the point M, N, instead of just a one number, this becomes easier. 
So this is the x value of the midpoint. This is m, and this is n. And then I'm going to plug these in for x1 and y1. So I'm going to rewrite this as m equals x1 plus x2 over 2, and n equals this part here. So I just broke it up. This is all my x's, and this is all my y's. And I broke it up. So let's start with my x's. I know that the midpoint is negative 9, and I know one of my endpoints is negative 1, and I want to find the other one. Since all I have left, there. So now this is just an algebra problem. How do I get something out of the bottom? If it's in the bottom, you have to multiply both sides times that number. You'll see this a lot this year and in Algebra 2 next year. If it's on bottom, you just multiply times it. 2 over 2 cancels, so that gives me negative 18 equals negative 1 plus x plus this, and equals, this cancels, x2. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the y side. I take my y's. Here's the midpoint. That's my answer. Here's what the y I know. And I'm looking for the other y. How do I get it out of the bottom? You always multiply what's on bottom on both sides. 2 times negative 10. 2 over 2 cancels. Then finish solving the algebra problem. Your last step is to write this out as a point. So this is negative 17, negative 29. All right, we're going to repeat that one more time for this side. And I'm just going to write the formulas I had here. These are the x's. I'm going to start with my x's. Here's my endpoint, and here's my midpoint. So my midpoint goes as the answer. My endpoint goes here. I'm going to write this one out while I am writing. My endpoint goes here, and my midpoint goes here. Pause and rewind this as you need to. Remember, you multiply times the bottom. And subtract. Over here, multiply times the bottom. And our last step is to write it as a point. Here's my x, here's my y. 